my little artists. Today we're gonna be using pipe cleaners, strips of paper, a marker and a pencil to make some lines. I love lines. And in art, we've been talking about them. Look at all the lines on this paper. We are gonna make some today. Lines can be straight. They can be squiggly or wavy. They can be polka dotted, zigzag, loop-de-loop, -loop, and lots more. Let's make some with our materials. The first thing you're gonna use are your two pipe cleaners. These are fuzzy little wires and you can bend them into any kind of line but we are going to focus on loop-de-loop -loop lines or spiral, okay? So the first thing you can use is your pencil. And what I want you to do is you're gonna wrap your pipe cleaner around the pencil. So lay your pipe cleaner and your pencil together like this. Be careful not to poke yourself if your pencil is sharpened. And then I like to hold them both together, pinching them so they don't go anywhere. And then I like to wrap the other end, so I'm grabbing with my free hand, wrap, wrap until I'm done. And now my pipe cleaner is wrapped around my pencil. Now, watch this magic trick. You're gonna grab one end of the pipe cleaner, wiggle, 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 and pull your pencil out. Keep wiggling and pulling until your pencil is out. And watch what happens. Your Pipe cleaner keeps the shape of a spiral line. Look how cool. So we had a straight line with our pipe cleaner first, and then we turned it into a spiral line. Awesome. Then you can try this with the marker with your other one. And it's going to look a little different. So you're going to hold your pipe cleaner and your marker together, just like we did before. Grab the extra end of your pipe cleaner with your free hand, wrap, wrap, and you don't have to wrap it as much because the marker is wider. Let it go, it keeps its shape, and when you're ready, wiggle, 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 and pull your marker out. Wow, look how cool. Now I have a different kind of spiral line. Awesome, now let's make some lines with our paper. First, we have a straight line, so you can grab any color you want. And let's do the spiral again. You can use a pencil or a marker for this, okay? And this time, we're gonna lay our pencil like this on the edge of our paper. And then you're gonna grab your paper and your pencil at the same time, and you're gonna roll. See how they're rolling together? If I let it go, it'll come apart. So keep hold of it, don't let it go until you get to the end. Roll, roll. You can do this with your pencil or your marker. And then when you get to the end, let go of the paper. And then carefully take your pencil or your marker out and you have another spiral line. Isn't that cool? We can make lines using lots of different things. Now let's make a zigzag line with one of your strips of paper with a different one. Find the bottom and fold just a little piece, like this. Then flip it over. Grab the bottom again and fold. I'm not using this side yet, okay? I folded it, so now I got to flip it again. Flip, then what? Fold. Pressing it down so it stays. Then what? Flip and fold. And I like to keep it down so it doesn't come apart. Then flip and fold. And I'm gonna keep flipping and folding until I'm finished. Wow. Now look how small it is. When I let it go, it might come up a little bit, but watch. Oh, I made a zigzag line and I can stretch it and make it bigger if I want. Look at all the beautiful lines I've made with my construction paper. I love it. Now you get to use the extra pieces of paper any way you want to make some lines of your own. You can make another spiral using your pencil or your marker. You can make a zigzag line 
or you can come up with your own kind of line. You might find a new way of folding or curling your paper. You're gonna watch Miss Dalmy and I'm gonna fold the rest of my strips into different types of lines and I want you to watch, but you're not gonna go as fast as me. You're gonna go nice and slow and nice and careful. Have fun.